In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make some homemade hand sanitizer. This sanitizer is easily as good as the top brands and it does contain less chemicals. And what's great about it is it doesn't leave a sticky feeling on your hands once you are finished. You can keep it in your car so you can use it after you've been shopping. Or my personal favourite, I like to place a small amount in the palm of my hands before I meet someone new. So when I shake their hands, I'm not only sanitising my hands, but I'm sanitising their hands as well. This looks like the agent now. Better get some hand sanitizer. You must be Bob. Good to meet you, Bob. Now you may be wondering what the heck does homemade hand sanitizer have to do with growing mushrooms? Well, with growing mushrooms, as you guys know, you are working very clean environments and you often are uh, sanitizing or sterilizing all the surfaces and all the tools you use. So it's not that much harder to make your own uh, gel based hand sanitizer. So to make this we use five ingredients. The first one is our ethanol here or as we use denatured ethanol that just means you can't drink it. Ethanol is the same um, alcohol that's in beer, wine and spirits um, but when you buy it in commercial quantities it's had an additive put to it so you can't uh, go drinking it. The second ingredient right here is um, filtered um, pure or deionized water, uh, which we have. The third ingredient here is triethylnolamine, and that's a pH buffer, and that's used to raise the pH of the final product. The fourth ingredient, this cocaine-like um, powder right here, is actually called uh, C1030 acrylate cross polymer, and that's used to form the gel-like structure, which is going to change all of these ingredients from a liquid to a gel. And our last ingredient on the end here is propylene glycol, that's a hermectant or a moisturiser, and that's used to prevent um, the alcohol from drying out your hands with repetitive use. So today we're going to make about one litre of hand sanitizer. Our san hand sanitizer wants to be about 70% alcohol uh, by volume, so we have 700 mils of ethanol, 300 mils of water, and now these other products here, we're going to add in amounts of about 2 grams of the cross polymer, about 2.5 grams, uh, sorry, 2.5 mils of triethylnolamine, and about 5 ml of propylene glycol. We'll add the C1030 cross polymer to the water and you'll be able to see just what it does. So what we do now is we're going to add our ethanol to our water mixed with cross polymer. So that's the ethanol added and we just give it a little mix. Next we're going to add 5 ml of propylene glycol. I've poured some in a cup here because it's hard to suck it straight out of that big container. And with a little syringe here, I'm just going to suck up 5 ml and put that straight into our container. Now we're nearly finished. Um, the last thing we have left to do is to turn this liquid into a gel. Right now it's liquid enough that if I pour it it'll just run onto the table and all over the floor. So we want to um, turn this into a gel so it holds its structure better. Um, and that way when you put some on your hand, it won't run through your fingers. To turn this into a gel, we're going to get our triethylnolamine. It's going to shift the pH of this liquid up to around 7, and that's going to cause the gel-like structure to form in there. Now triethylnolamine is very interesting, as it actually freezes at about 22 degrees. So the bottom of this container here has got, uh, it's like frozen crystals of triethylnolamine. So lastly, we'll add the triethylnolamine, push the pH of this up, and you'll see it turn into a gel. We've got about 2.5 mils of this. Put these aside, and then we'll give it a mix, and this will turn into a gel. And there we have it, a gel-based hand sanitizer. This probably needs about 12 hours, 24 hours, for all those polymers to really hydrate in there. Um, but that's usable right now. So you can get a bit of that on your hand, Beautiful hand sanitizer. Once it's been made, all we need to do is tip it into a small pump bottle.